good morning. Yeah, thank you for coming uh, to my talk. And uh, yeah, the title is very aggressive, and uh, I will show you why during the talk. So, oops. Okay. So the agenda has four pillars. I will start introducing uh, you the new OWASP Software Security Five Dimension Framework. That is a draft project of OWASP, and uh, why we need a new model. And I will show you some assessment results of uh, companies worldwide. Then uh, we will take a look at uh, some software security roadmap and good practices, for example, from Google, uh, Facebook, uh, and uh, Comcast. And uh, then uh, uh, we will focus on why the reports are dead from this point of view because uh, introduce a lot of inefficiency and uh, the security bugs should be integrated in your life cycle today. And finally, we, I will show you how can you use this new model, uh, for example, for vendor requirements, and we'll show you the, the conclusions. So just a few words about me. I am informatic and engineering, and I, I collaborate in OWASP since 2002. Uh, I founded the OWASP Italy chair in 2005, and I'm leading the OWASP testing guide since 2006. And now I'm leading the OWASP Software Security 5 Dimension Framework. And during my spare time, I'm working in Minded Security, that is a software security consulting company. So, <coughs> let's see the model. But uh, why we need uh, a new model? First of all, I would like to introduce some questions. So, uh, today, how can a user of an application understand if uh, uh, is using a, a secure software? Do you have an answer? Today, it's not possible for a user to understand if he's using a, a secure or not secure application. It's not like using a car that you can touch the security of the airbags, brakes, and etc. Today is a very complex answer. And is it possible to develop secure software? Today, uh, it is really difficult to say yes, uh, because secure software is not possible today, because uh, we are developing more and more complex software with uh, hundreds of developers, uh, thousands of developers on the project, and it is really difficult to manage all the security risk and all the aspects of software security today. And then, how can I measure the level of security of my software? This is another big question. And uh, with the new OWASP five-dimension framework, we would like to, uh, to answer to this question. So, <laughs> let's start from the basic. For example, we have uh, one team, one developer, and 12 live no code, okay? This is uh, the real basic example. Here you can see 12 lines of code, and the developer says, what a nice code. And then, uh, uh, what about the security? Uh, yes. Now, an AppSec, an AppSec specialist or a tool in action can identify that there is a vulnerability. Here, the username is taken as a parameter in input, and there is nothing here, input validation or encoding, and the username is put on the output of the page, so there is a cross scripting. Okay. The fixing activity means adding a, a simple line of code, for example, using the OWASP API, that is another OWASP project, that uh, allow encoding uh, for HTML attribute, the username field, so you eliminate completely the, the vulnerability. But, <clears throat> but what is the reality? The reality is that you don't have to manage 10 lines of code. You have to manage million, billion lines of codes. So, for example, the big one, Amazon, Google, Netflix, have a deploy frequency that is impressive. So how you can manage this problem today? So we are living today in an era of insecure software today. But uh, what is the best approach? Uh, a lot of uh, companies are measuring the number of vulnerabilities uh, in, in the reports and uh, says, okay, I, I didn't find vulnerability, so I'm, I'm secure. This is not the right approach. And uh, a lot of other vulnerabilities are buying uh, all the tools possible and says, uh, okay, I, I start scanning uh, software, I have uh, N bugs, and this is 
vulnerable. But if uh, I scan a software and I, didn't f I don't find uh, any, any bugs, is the software secure? This is not true. So, the problem here is the software is never fi finished. And uh, the testing is just one of the ap application security dimensions. So here comes the concept of dimensions. The five dimensions would like to see, uh, to have a vision uh, of uh, several dimensions that is fundamental to have major in your company. And uh, the problem of fixing bugs is the most important aspect of upset. Okay, so if you fix uh, immediately a bug, you are mature. If you fix a, a, a bug in month, in uh, six months, it, <coughs> maybe uh, the company is not really mature on software security. Here, a, a case study of the so, so, uh, software assurance maturity model assessment that we did uh, since 2012. And here you can see exactly what, I say, what I'm saying. All the companies are focusing on verification and security testing. In 2012, uh, all the other dimensions, here the model, the SAM model, uh, has 12 uh, security practices that starting from governance, construction, verification, and operation. And here you can see that the verification and testing are the more mature uh, security practice at the moment. And uh, th this is not wrong, but uh, the testing is the last thing that uh, a company should be, should, should done. So, uh, again, uh, what the difference with the five dimension framework? Here you can see an assessment result of the software security five dimension model. And here you can see a classical report. No? The report just say that you have uh, some problems that you have to face. The assessment result says that, for example, you are very good in, uh, in the team area, not so good in, uh, in the standards and, and so on, but the awareness is completely missed in these models. So there is a problem and you have to invest in this area first. So let's see the model and uh, essentially George Box, uh, it, it is a great statistical mind, uh, says that all the models are wrong but someone is, is useful. So yes, the model has, are not perfect. You have to implement your own model. Uh, just a brief history of software security. Uh, we started almost in 2001, and uh, Gary McGraw published the software security. So uh, 2001 is a good year for software security. And 2002 was a, a fantastic year, for example, in Microsoft, because Bill Gates says, uh, tomorrow I want to deliver secure software because it costs too much the security bulletins. And then uh, we, we, the Microsoft published writing secure code in 2002. Then OWASP starting developing uh, the OWASP uh, top 10, the OWASP building guide, the OWASP uh, testing guide. And 2006, it is another important year because uh, uh, Microsoft uh, uh, released the, the first SDL uh, life cycle uh, in, in, in the public. So in 2006, uh, uh, in reality, we have two models. One is the uh, first Microsoft security development life cycle, and the other one is building security in of Gary McGraw. But what we have today, today, uh, as OWASP, we have uh, uh, the OpenSAM, that is the software assurance maturity model that has becoming a standard, an international standard, to have an assessment of your processes inside your organization and to measure it and create a software security roadmap. Uh, the, the, new, the new project is this one, so the OWA Software Security 5 Dimension, that is basically a light assessment that allows you to understand immediately what are the dimensions that you are not covering today. Why the five dimension? Because we see that uh, all the SDLC framework lack, lack of uh, level of awareness, security team, standards, and testing. So we developed this new, new, new project to focus on these uh, uh, important elements. So here is the framework. So uh, 
we look at five dimensions. The, the first one is the processes. So here, nothing new because all the SDLC are looking to the processes. Uh, risk assessment, security requirements, and so on. The testing, we are looking uh, at what kind of tools, because uh, the automation today is uh, necessary, but uh, it, it is not sufficient. So we look also if, if you perform external manual SQL code review, uh, web, um, web application penetration testing, that are very important for critical applications. And then we look at the team. Uh, there is an application security manager. There are security champions, application security specialists, satellite architects and developers, means the, the person inside uh, the company that uh, uh, are looking for security and understand the security. So they uh, will become the, focus po the focal point when you have to fix something because they understand the problem and they can fix it as, as soon as possible. Then we are looking to awareness. So is, is the management informed about software security risk? And the developers and so on, and they are doing uh, dedicated software security courses. And then we look at the standards. So uh, the SAM, there is Canalysis kind of standard, threat modeling, secret architecture, and so on. So just take a look at, at each dimension. So the processes dimension. Here you can see define, design, develop, deployment that are the basic step of uh, traditional SDL. Uh, you can see it is important to to build a risk assessment process to identify the, the level of uh, risk of the new application that you are developing. So here, no one says that you have to uh, implement security everywhere, but uh, if you have uh, to implement a new online banking, may maybe you have to implement everything. If you are implementing a new blog that uh, is internal and uh, only two or three people are uh, uh, using the product, maybe the, the critical is very low and you have to implement maybe a, a kind of automation at the end. So it is important to have a, a risk assessment initi initially and uh, then uh, help have in place security requirements in the define phase. Then in the design, uh, performing threat modeling and secret design on the components. During the developing, performing um, secret code review and fixing, then web application penetration testing at the end of the product and then fixing. And then in deployment, we have the assurance to deploy a secure, secure software. Uh, regarding the testing dimension, we are looking at what kind of uh, tools and uh, manual tests uh, the, the company is doing. So for example, if they are, they are applying the SAS, the DUST, the YEST, and the RASP that are new technologies, and uh, what kind of manual code review they are performing, and what kind of manual penetration testing. Regarding the team dimension, we are looking uh, if there is an application security manager that is really important today. Uh, what are the security champions? Uh, uh, regarding the application security specialist and so on. So, uh, for example, the, the satellite are really important to, uh, for a major software security initiative. Then we look at the awareness dimension. So here it, it is important to, to learn that security now is a, a responsible responsibility of every, everyone inside the SDLC, not only the developers. So the top management uh, needs to be informed about the risk of uh, releasing a new uh, online service. And all the other people that are in the software development life cycle are uh, a, a specific role. And then we are looking to the standards. So we, we, we look if uh, there is a software security roadmap using the same standard. Uh, if uh, there is a risk analysis standard, uh, threat modeling, uh, requirements, architecture, guidelines, secure coding guidelines, and so on. So here is the big picture of the software security five dimension. Here you can see the traditional SDLC phases and the processes, standard, testing, team awareness. And here is all the activities that uh, a company should uh, implement uh, uh, during the development phase. Uh, I, would, I would like to give you some assessment results. So, for example, here a company, you can see that is really strong on the testing dimension. So they buy SAS, DAS, YAS, RASP uh, tools. Uh, they perform external manual code review and web application testing. So the level of maturity is very high. 
But here you can see immediately that the other dimension are not so, so uh, high level of maturity. So for example, they are focusing only on the processes of SQL code review and web application penetration testing, not the other. So the level, this level of maturity is low. The security team, they have only satellite uh, architects and developers. So here the level of maturity is low. The awareness is, is uh, performing on, only on the developers and the standard only on SQL coding. So basically the model uh, is really important from our point of view to, to, to have a, a vision and a view of what you are doing well and what is missing. Here, another example of financial and independent software vendor. We did with uh, 12 financial institutions and five independent software vendor. And here you can see the financial uh, has more awareness and team and uh, testing. And uh, yes, I, I will show you uh, what, what are the, the, the good practice. For example, the financial uh, regarding the awareness, they do awareness from the management to the engineers. And then the team, uh, the team uh, they have application security specialists, uh, satellite architect, and so on. From an uh, independent software vendor, you can see that uh, uh, they do uh, external so, uh, so SQL code review and web application testing, and uh, they, they have uh, SQL security requirements, design, and security bug fixing that is really important. But what are doing uh, big companies? For example, Google, that have uh, a big problem because uh, they have a two billion line of code uh, online. Uh, they realized uh, a, a, a secure API internal, so they uh, use only this kind of secure API and the developers cannot uh, create a new, new kind of software with uh, new functions or new API. And uh, yeah, so, they, the, the approach is that we cannot detect during the developing because uh, the developing is too fast and uh, we are using Secure Happy to develop uh, secure software and then uh, we automate uh, the testing after. And what about, uh, what about Facebook? Uh, Facebook uh, disclosed that uh, also Facebook has, has a secure framework that is uh, the Hacklang, a kind of PHP uh, they modified, and uh, they do a lot of automatic testing tool, uh, design review, red, ta red team exercise, and, and bug bounty program. So, re really good. But what about, for example, the threat modeling uh, and issue management? Um, how, how they perform it regarding the uh, software security five dimension uh, model? Another really interesting example is um, Comcast. Because Comcast uh, has created uh, his own uh, model deriving from the SAM and the BSIM. And uh, what is really interesting is that they don't uh, give uh, a zero to three level of maturity, but they start from uh, trade-off unknown to culture. And culture is the key. Uh, if you have culture in your company, you can run a security and an application security program and you have a high level of culture. Just a few words regarding the PCI standard. The PCI standard uh, last January just released its own uh, software security framework. And uh, the software security framework of, of PCI is uh, uh, related to the five, di five dimensions. So we can see that there is uh, a kind of link. So if you are implementing this kind of framework, you will facilitate to implement in the five dimension. Okay. So why your reports are dead? <laughs> is, is your report uh, useful today? This is the typical scenario of a uh, desk of the, ma of the manager. A lot of reports and uh, they don't share it and they uh, and Maybe the, the developers don't, uh, don't know that there is a, a problem or after month. So, uh, for example, an external company performing a test and you have a report with the bugs, what happens? Uh, we have too much time to remediate today. For example, the, the manager uh, requires one week to one month to share to the development team the results. 
And what happens here? The time is growing and the, the, the number of bugs is growing. So there is a problem because you are fixing in, uh, not in, uh, immediately. But what we need today, we need uh, east, instant security feedback, instant. So the security bugs should be treated as bug, but with high priority. So if I found, 10 minutes, okay. If I found a vulnerability, I have to uh, put it in your Jira system or, and so on and give a high priority and remediate immediately. And the security must be shared, so the, the bugs uh, should be known not only by the manager, but all the team involved in the SDL. So here is, uh, are your reports and uh, why your reports are there, because the reports introduce a lot of latency. We don't need it today. So we need uh, the security integrated in your life cycle. So for example, from the coding to the deploy, using a lot of tools and, uh, for integration, it is the, the best way today. And why it works? Because uh, we can improve the security culture. It is important to understand that everyone is responsible for security today, from the management to the developers. We, we will have more security champions because the culture is up and you can have uh, more people that understand uh, software security and that can help all the, the other teams uh, that are developing or creating new, new products. And then uh, it helps to have less time to implement the fixes of security bugs, because this is really important. So at the final, how can you use the model? What are the benefits? The benefits are that using the software security five dimension framework, you can measure, measure your company culture on software security, not the number of vulnerabilities. The number of vulnerabilities uh, are expected. When you develop a new software, the, the vulnerabilities are expected, so this is not a big problem. The big problem is how you manage it. Then you can enforce the trust relations, the relationship between your company and your clients, because if you uh, can say that uh, you are implementing a software security roadmap, it's, it is completely different than showing a report. So you can uh, build uh, more trust with your customers. And then you can demonstrate your improvements doing performing a new assessment every six months, every year. And then you can have a vision on how to manage your software security roadmap using the model. And the vision is really important that what is missing today. So for example, uh, for the vendor requirements, uh, how mature is the software of your sourcer, for example? No? Uh, maybe 10 years ago, a lot of vendors say, uh, hey, we are implementing HTTPS and we are using the OWASP guidelines. Mm. Mm. HTTPS mean, means only that you can uh, authenticate uh, the client with the server and send uh, the, the information in uh, server mode, but you have also to verify the implementation of the HTTPS. And uh, using the OWASP guidelines means not too much. So the level is low. But uh, maybe uh, Five years ago, a lot of uh, outsourcers says, uh, okay, take a look at the presentation testing uh, we, we did, we performed. This is not uh, sufficient. Also, it, it, it is really important to show not the report of the, the test, but the report of the retest. So you have to demonstrate that you have fixed the, your bugs, not uh, that you have some vulnerabilities. But what we see really important today, uh, if you perform an OWASP SAM assessment and you have a kind of certificate of achievement, so uh, a third party says that you have level two in, in, in this dimension and level three in this, in this other dimension, you can uh, uh, build a trust relationship with your clients and you can sell better your product. So for example, the SAM independent software vendor, here you can see Phase one mean uh, a low level of maturity, and phase two and three and four, uh, high level. So you can, in this kind of certificate, you can state that uh, you are at level three, for example, and you can sell better your product. So conclusion. Stop thinking software security is only testing the software, okay? Uh, um, 
my company is uh, dedicated, uh, specialized on software security, and uh, I run the OBOS testing guide, but the testing is just the last step that you have to perform during the development of your software. And stop thinking that software security is only a developer responsibilities, because not all the people involved are respons responsible of the software security. Then start sharing security bugs and fix as soon as possible. This is the key. Start thinking that everyone is respons responsible for software security. And then use the OSM assessment and five dimension framework that now are standard that allows you to create a software security roadmap. And last culture is re the, real, the real key to measure your maturity level for developing secure software. Okay, that's all. I have you some question? Anyone has a question, please open up to the mic. Yeah, hi. <clears throat> Thank you for the presentation. So I'm a security guy who had who has to fight a lot with people who take the decisions and I wrote down several questions, so I'd probably ask a couple and then we can speak after. So one of them is about the metrics. So you mentioned that, well, security culture is important and then each of the dimension is important. Um, so what's your way of saying that now this is like low and now this is medium, now this is high? How do you justify that and what's your way of saying that I believe this is something what should be improved and this is something what maybe can improve later? Uh, that's the first one, and then the second out of five would be probably the weight of the dimensions. So we mentioned that there are five dim dimensions, and maybe there could be more or less. I mean, that's probably not that important. But however, let's say that there are some deficiencies in three dimensions. Would you weight them equally, or would you say that one is more important than another? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Really interesting question. So maybe I can start for, from the last one because I remember. <laughs> but uh, yes, the, the, the five dimensions are just, uh, in, in our mind, uh, are just five dimensions uh, that you have to focus in. So the, you have to, uh, uh, to be at a, a good level of uh, maturity in each of the five dimensions. So, yeah, because. Uh, but uh, again, the awareness and the team maybe are the, the most important area because uh, we are focusing today only on testing and processes, but maybe we are not, uh, uh, the companies are, have not the right person to perform this because uh, I see, for example, a lot of developers that uh, uh, from a day to another, uh, they, they should be the security cha champions and uh, the application security specialists, but uh, we know that uh, it needs a lot of years to, to become an application security specialist. So uh, we need more people coming inside the company and uh, have uh, more security specialists uh, to, to build the team. And regarding the, um, yes, the, the zero to three of the maturity level, for example, in SAM, uh, we have uh, 90 uh, questions to perform uh, to to a set of persons inside the SDL, so from the governance to the construction and to the verification and to the operation, we interview a set of key people and uh, we understand from the answer and from the um, documentation what is the level. It is a qualita qualitative approach. Uh, yes, uh, it, it is not so perfect, but uh, I really, I really like the, the approach of Comcast uh, that uh, the, not giving zero to three, but uh, uh, not implemented, and uh, we have the, the culture on this, uh, on this security practice. This is a, a, a good approach. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So one of the reasons why I asked about each of the dimensions, so I see that, for example, they have something which is called a trade-off, so the practice is not worth in this context, yeah. which basically kind of says that there could be more or less mature company, and maybe some of the risks might be more important for them than the others. That's why I'm kind of, I still, 
I don't know, intuitively, yeah, it's kind of good to have everything, but then we know that there is there are constraints of time, money, and then probably Absolutely. priorities as well. So I'm just curious how that could be tailored to the actual risks of each of the companies. So that's why, how do you deal with the trade-off practices in 5D? Uh, oops, the, the trade-off, simply meaning the, the zero in uh, the sum assessment and uh, culture tree. But uh, uh, maybe the question is, uh, uh, when we perform a sum assessment or five dimension assessment, the idea is to have a, a, a photograph of what the company is doing today. But this is not enough. So the, the idea is to create a roadmap together with the customer because uh, you have limited time, resources, uh, cost, uh, etc. So uh, the, the security roadmap is completely different from each company because uh, Yes, you have to uh, focus on these five dimensions, but you have to decide which implement first, and uh, maybe the, the, the second one in the next year. So, yes, no, no one says, uh, okay, now we are zero, and t tomorrow you, you have to uh, be the culture in the, the five dimensions. We know that uh, it is impossible, so we need uh, a kind of, uh, uh, okay, a kind of uh, a consultancy to, uh, to, to help uh, to reach the goal of each company.